Morning guys, here is a little tutorial on applying Liquitex high gloss varnish for that resin like finish. Um, I've had people comment on uh, some of my pieces that I've applied my Liquitex gloss varnish like this and, and they're having issues with either streaking or it won't level properly. So I thought I'd do a little video, so here we go. Um, First, you're gonna need Liquitex High Gloss Varnish, the professional grade. You're going to need a torch. Um, you're gonna need a foam brush, at least that's what I, I use. And for this first layer, I'm actually using um, uh, one part distilled water to one part Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. And I have a little, um, old t-shirt or a, a lint-free cloth that I'm just basically going to buff this layer on. Wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? So, and <laughs> this is a small canvas. This, I believe this is a 9 by 12 So, I um, just thought this was a good one to show you guys what I do. And <laughs> in hindsight, I would have had a bigger piece of t-shirt to do this because this was just absolutely tiny and I was like, oh, well, I'm already doing it, so let's just go with it. <laughs> sometimes I do my first layer like this, sometimes I go straight into gloss varnish, but I think this is a better way to do it, honestly. So, yeah. And I always go around the edges. All right, now we're at really uh, the first full strength coat. And I think the thing to remember with this varnish is you have to use more, unfortunately, than what you think. And when you're using that foam brush, I mean, the lightest touch, almost like you're floating it over the varnish to like, like pull it down. Don't have a heavy hand. You just want to float it down. And you have about 30 to 40 seconds after you fully applied it. Otherwise, it starts to get tacky. Like, if you miss a spot, leave it. Get it on the next application. So I'm going to torch those bubbles out. Keep your torch moving. Don't make it, or don't keep it too close to the varnish. And then what I do after this, when I do a full coat of Liquitex gloss varnish, you need to let it dry at least three hours. At least, don't touch it. Don't touch it, don't do anything. At least three hours. For me, when I do this full coat stuff, I let it sit for 24 hours. I just do, that's just my preference. But I have done three hours and it's been fine. You can see I'm still futzing with things here. And it was still okay. And I don't show it also, but I go around all the edges with that little foam brush gently, just to kind of lightly touch the edges um, and wipe up, you know, anything that has dripped. Okay, so now this is the second coat of the, the full layer. So I come back in the morning, I'm gonna just kind of dust it off and rotate your canvas. So you're going in a different direction. This is really important. It just helps cover any of those areas that maybe you missed from the day before. And it's really just the same application process. Lots of varnish. You do use lots of varnish. It, this is um, when you use the full strength coats. And you're gonna make mistakes. I mean, var uh, not varnish. Um, when you resin, and I can't resin, that's why I'm varnishing. I can't resin, I don't have a, a proper place in my home. 
but when you're varnishing, I mean, you're going to make little mistakes. I'm still making mistakes on this, like during my layers. I um, looked at this piece totally dry and I actually might put another layer on mine because I noticed like a little divot here that maybe I missed or a brush mark where it was just kind of too heavy and you know, it's not going to be, it's going to take a minute for you to get that completely seamless look definitely trial and error so I wouldn't be doing this on a giant canvas when you first start out also too sometimes I can get in there and look and see if there's a little area that's um, you know I, I'll, I'll blow over it and kind of move the varnish or tilt it you can tilt it as well so this is the third layer of the full strength yeah full strength Liquitex gloss varnish. Again, I always come in and just take a dry paper towel and just kind of wipe off the surface. Make sure there's no dust particles. And I can already see here where I've totally missed some little spots. It just it was one of those weird days yesterday. And I'm going back over it, which I, I still could, but I, I would just say go over it once. You know, if you miss anything, get it on the next, next layer. And quite frankly, you know, you should be able to get a really nice finish in four full coats. Three full coats you could as well. I just always happen to miss something. My eyesight's like terrible nowadays or I don't know. But yeah, in that beginning stages, yep, see you can see me kind of tilting it off. And some people pour it on and tilt it off. Um, <clears throat> this is just how I'm doing it right now. And it's not perfect. This is just to help you guys that that want to try this you know that want to do this and you know can do it um because it's not a cheap varnish alternative yeah see now i'm like blowing it around <laughs> i hope this video is helpful to some of you guys you can always message me or anything like that you know um or leave a comment below how, how you like to varnish your pieces. Um, this is kind of relaxing to me doing it this way, but leaving it for 24 hours is always hard to do. All right, this is the last coat I put on this. So again, I'm going to rotate the canvas. So this is this is the, the last coat I put on this one. And like I said, I, I might do another coat just because there's a tiny little section that's bothering me I'd like to try and fix so so you rotate it and your last coat wipe it off There's one other thing that I do on this last go around um, that you can do, um, it, you know, if, if, if it's right away, especially with the smaller canvases, you know, because the application doesn't take too long. But I noticed some some little spots that I, I didn't get the, the varnish over. So I'll take a little brush and dip it in my varnish and literally like dot on little areas of varnish but you got to do it right away don't futz don't futz too much with this stuff because it starts to set pretty quickly so if it's a large piece leave it alone get it on the next 
go around. If it's a small piece, you can you can usually do this pretty quickly. I was running out of um, gas on my little uh, torch right there. I was like, why isn't it working? I'm having to like try to pop bubbles. So here's the little brush. So I dipped it in my varnish and I'm just kind of dropping it into those little areas that maybe I missed or the varnish didn't want to properly. So yeah, guys, I know this wasn't the best video and maybe doing a voiceover. I don't know if this is helpful, but you know, this is how I do it. This is how I do the varnish. And like I said, I'm still working. I'm not perfect at it. I've only done a couple pieces like this. Um, but you know, Another way that I've done use this varnish is I have cut it either, like I said, one to one Liquitex high gloss varnish and one part distilled water, or I've done two parts Liquitex high gloss varnish to one part distilled water. And you just buff it on in those layers. So I'd buff on that first layer and then I'd let it sit for at least three hours. And then I'd come back and buff on another layer that that same process I did right at the beginning of this video and you can gloss a piece like that and it's 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 pretty it just takes a ton more layers you know okay so this is outside this morning and you can see I mean it's pretty resin like you might be able to see the little areas I'm not happy about like right in the center there's I just I don't know what I did I just kind of missed a spot but I mean it looks like resin all right and then here here I am inside my kitchen um, with just a different light source but it looks like resin it's probably a little harder to apply than resin but if you don't have that option I think this is a great option um, and if you can do it because it, it's like I said it's not the cheapest way to varnish a piece so I hope this I hope this helps you guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video tell me what I could have done better and uh, talk soon